lifted the blinds like that as the sun comes in, but it's such a vile day, it's pouring with rain. I don't really want the um, bad weather coming in. Okay, so one set of dumbbells, medium weight to lightweight, not too heavy because we'll be doing a bit with it. And then <clears throat> bringing the hands onto the front of the hips and then just circling around, just beginning to loosen up. Um, we have a leak in our house, we've had it for a while. <laughs> I think I told you about it before. Um, but it means that the doors have to stay open, change direction of those circles. It means the doors have to stay open. So um, <laughs> there's every chance that a dog will come careering through, as will a cat at some point. So apologies about that, but we've got buckets in the door, eh, collecting water. Okay, from there, you're just gonna reach, nice reaches out from the shoulder. Rotating through the center, lifting that leg, behind leg, up as you go. Just imagine you're doing a kind of side to side punch. Four, three, two, one, then come back to centre and you're just going to squat down and you're going to reach. As you squat, just bring your shoulder blades together at the top, squeeze them and bring the hands together. So you're warming through those shoulder blades at the same time as warming the legs. So the weight's going back into the heels, chest staying proud. <clears throat> Eight, seven, six, that's the noise of the animals being fed, five, I'll be through in a minute. Four, just tell me they want to go outside. Three, two, and one. Good. From there, turning your heels out to about 45 degrees, bringing the hands down in front. And then we're just going to plie. So this time the pelvis is tucked, chest staying lovely and proud, bringing the arms up to shoulder height. <clears throat> Four, six, and five. Check that those knees aren't rolling forward. Three, two, hold this one down. Take your palms, face them to the front, spread the fingertips wide. Then you're gonna do a circle, rotate to the back, then the front, back. So you're kind of really rotating through those shoulder blades, holding low. Back, front, back. Four, three, two, one. Then take one arm overhead, then the other side, so reaching up through this sideline. If you've done as little as me over Christmas, which I know some of you have been amazing, I'm doing loads of catch up, here's looking at you, Lisa. Um, if any of you are like me, you'll get an ache for days. I've done one workout and I've ached for days after it. Four, three, two, hold this one. Little pulsing reaches. Really working up this sideline. Four, Three, two, one. Other side. Pulse and reach. So we really reach with that arm. Keep this chest proud and open. Four, three, two, one. From there, bring the hands down, take them onto the waist. Lift one heel, then the other. So trying to stay nice and still in the upper body. My legs are shaking already and it's just a warm up. Lift, lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, from there, little pulses. Pulse deeper. And four, and three, and two, and one. Straighten up, heel toe it in until you're about hip distance apart. When you're there, I just want you to hinge out from those hips, really push your bum back, let your arms come down to the floor. When you get there, I want you to just hang for a minute, let the head go heavy. And then I want you to take the hands, place them one on top of the other and just start doing some gentle swaying. So beginning to warm the hamstrings, try to lift yourself up to about halfway. Four, three, two, and one. From there, let it all hang heavy again. And then just slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, just rolling one shoulder back then the other, easing through the shoulder blades. And then turning it into an arm circle, one, then the other. Nice big circles by the ears. So we're gonna be combining upper body and lower body. It's only a half hour workout today, so we're maximizing. Change direction of those circles. Six, five, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Give it all a shake. Okay, so keeping some water close if you need it. And then we're going to pick up our dumbbells and you're going to step into a wide plie stance to start. So just to recap on our positioning, making sure that you're at least twice hip distance apart so that when you drop down into your plie, you don't want these knees out beyond the toes. If they're out beyond the toes, you're too narrow for this one. So you want to be a bit wider and then you just want to make sure these knees don't roll forward and that you're keeping them nice and wide using the strength of these inner thighs to hold them there. So those are the main teaching points. You then third way, you don't want to let that bum come out and the chest fall forward. You want to stay nice and proud and, and straighten up. So when you're straightening up, you're using your glutes and your inner thighs. So you're going to draw your palms in front of the body, almost touching, and then we're going to plie as we lateral raise and then come back up. So we're gonna go down and lift. So making sure that straight away you feel it in those inner thighs. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep going, I've got an itch on my nose <laughs> every time. 10, Thirteen. 14. Okay, we're going to add on. So you're going to do the same. Down, turn the palms up, turn them down, squeeze to the top. Go down, palms up, palms down, and lift. Starting to really recruit these shoulder muscles. So just make sure, on the top of the back, make sure you haven't got your shoulders up around your ears, otherwise you're going to be working your neck, which you really don't want to do. Tops of shoulders, shoulder blades, arms, not necks. Squeeze up. Down. Palms up, palms down, and squeeze. Down, palms up, palms down. Two more. Down, palms up, palms down, squeeze up. Last time, palms up, palms down, squeeze up. Come down, just palms up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Five, four, three, two, Hold low. We're going to do what we did in the warm up. Punching over the top. Punch and reach. Reach. So keeping that top line open. I was able to scratch my shoulder, uh, nose then. Ten. Don't be tempted to come up out of your plie hold. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. From there. Take the dumbbells and hold them in front of you so they're like a goblet. Use this to help your chest stay lifted. Lift one heel, then the other. Lift, lift. See how the rest of my body's staying completely still? Just lifting that heel, lift, working these legs, turning the calves. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one from there, pulse two, three, four, dog's watching me. Six, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Right when you think you're done, arms back up to shoulder height. Take them to a fifth, open them out. Take them to fifth, open them out. Up to fifth, and open. Can you sink a little lower? And open. For six, and down and five, four, down, three, down, two, down, one, down, straighten up, heel toe in. Okay, just have a little dangle if you need to, holding the weights down, curving the spine, and then we're gonna have a simple quarter, and then we're gonna go again. Okay, so round two, exactly the same, but there are going to be options to advance it if you want. I'm going to slightly change the order of some of the moves. So back out to that second position, palms in front, and you're going to plie and lift. So just doing straight forward plies, lifting the arms to shoulder height, still checking that those pelvises are tucked. My body's going into shock. 
Okay, adding on. So you go down, palms up, palms down, squeeze to the top. Down, palms up, palms down, squeeze up. Down, up, down, and squeeze. Down, up, down, and squeeze. Keep going. Up, down, squeeze. Up, down, squeeze. Three more. Squeeze. Last time, down and squeeze. Come down and hold. Palms up, palms down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Five, four, three, we're going to be really mean. Two, one. Ballet arms and open up to fifth and open up to fifth and open, fifth and open. I've got a scratch. Open, five, four, three, two, and one. From there, reaching up and over. See if you can sink a little lower into your hold. Then reaching up and overhead, working these arms, working these shoulders. Ten, nine, eight, Seven. Really keep this top line open. Don't curl is what I mean. Over. Three, two, one. Take the dumbbells, hold them in a goblet position. Everyone sink a little lower. If you can, double rillabays. Otherwise, back to the alternates. So still trying to hold low, keep the body still. Just these uh, heels lifting and lowering. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. If you can with the heels up, sink a little lower, pulsed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten up, good. Okay, have a little dangle, and then if you need it, another sip of water. So we're going to move now. So we're going to incorporate our glutes more because we're going to do reverse lunges. So again, we're in that refresh mode. So talking about our form, you're going to go near the top of your mat. You're going to stay hip distance apart. And the, the lunge, the right foot is going to come back. You're going to step hip distance apart and then you lower. So you're not lowering that chest down, still with the shoulders back, lowering that back knee then stepping back up. So you press into that back foot and use it to help you push back up. We're gonna make it a little bit harder by adding in a front raise up to shoulder height at the same time. So off you go. We're gonna go reverse lunge, step back, reverse lunge, step back. So if it's too much with the dumbbells, you can always just do this weight free, just lifting the arms up to shoulder height, all the same leg. So that we work the stationary glute and quads even deeper. Okay, we're going to add on here. So we're going to add on. So you're going to come down. You're going to row in. Just imagine you're on a rowing machine. Take it out. Straighten back up. Down. Row. Up. And lift. Down. Row. Front. And lift. Down. Row. Front. And lift. So you don't need boring gym equipment they're not boring maybe you like going to the gym but you don't need a rowing machine you can just use your body to make a more advanced row Ooh. last time row back up then you're coming down you're holding lower that back knee row two three four five five four, three, two, and one. Hold these dumbbells in front of you in that goblet position again. Lower that back knee. Nice strong hold here. Lift and lower that front heel. Releve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up if you can. Pulse. Two. If you need to drop that front heel, you can. Seven, eight, Nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, lower that front heel, step it up. So hopefully, where well, you've been holding, you felt that in that left glute, have a little shake. We're gonna go again, I'll turn around. And we're gonna go again, and this time, we're stepping back with the left leg as we do our front raises up to shoulder height. So coming hip distance apart, don't let that leg that's moving drift behind the other leg. Keep hip distance apart, help you stay balanced. So we go down and lift, two. So really lowering that back knee, if you can, as close to the ground. If you feel it in your knees too much, don't come quite as deep. Six. You could always do stationary where you just lift up and lower. Okay, adding on, down, row, straight, lift, down, row, straight, lift, down, row, straight, lift, down, row, straight, lift, five, straight, lift, four, straight, lift, three, row, straight, lift, two, row, Last one, row, straight, come up, come down, and hold. Row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the dumbbells in that goblet position, give them a little rest. Drop a little lower, renovate the front heel, lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, holding up if you can. Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that front heel, straighten up, step in. Okay, taking that little dangle if it feels good. So you just let the arms go, let the back curl, and just stretch out the shoulders for a second, then rolling up. Having a sip of water. Okay. So, once more through, like with the other one. Exactly the same. Not adding on this time. Keeping it the same. Both legs, and then we're gonna move into our finishing sequence, which is a power plank sequence, and then some abs on our back, and then we're done. I hope you're not all panting as much as me. It's a mixture of not much exercise, too much food, not enough sleep, cold. Ah, got blocked here. Okay, so back to that hip distance apart. Remember you can lower the dumbbells, the weight of the dumbbells or reduce them or get rid of them if you need to. So you're gonna reverse lunge, step back, reverse lunge, step back, lunge, lunge. Let's add on a row. Down, row, back, and lift. Down, row, back, lift. Down, row, back, lift. Down, row, and lift. For four, step up. Three, step up. Two, step up. Last one, and step. Come down and hold. Row, two, we're gonna do eight, three, four, four, three, two, one. Hold in that goblet position, or just take the arms down beside you if you wanna give them even more of a rest. Lower that back knee, check you're not leaning forward. Roll away, lift that front heel, lift, 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 lift. Hold, pulse, two, three, four, Five, six, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that front heel. Step forward. Okay. Straight in other side. Then we're done with our lunges. Left leg. Back. Left. Two. Left. Three. Four. Keep going. Foot four. And three, and two, and one. We're gonna add on. 
down, row, and left. Down, row, and left. Down, row, and lift. Down, row, and lift. For four, row, and lift. Three, last two, row, and lift. Last one, row, and lift. Down and hold, row, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Woo! Either goblet position or drop the arms down. Roll away, front heel, lift, lift, lift. Five, four, three, two, hold, post. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Step forward. Pop the dumbbells out of the way. You're done with those. Ooh. All right, so a little bit more arms, but really recruiting our abs here. We're going to do our walkout. We're going to do a power plank sequence, and we're going to do walkout, and then we're going to add on. There's going to be press ups, down dogs, planks. So just listen to my guide as we add on. So just standing at the bottom of your mat, hip distance apart. I always find it's helpful to keep the hands on the front of the legs. You then slide your hands down your legs to encourage you to push your bum behind you, so you're really stretching these hamstrings. Join me on the floor, so your hands reach the floor, then you just walk out, hold in a plank, feel those abs contract, you walk back, roll up, roll down, walk it out, those are a real full body exercise, walk it in, roll up, roll down, walk it out, hold in plank, walk it back, roll up, roll down. Walk it out, hold, walk it in, roll up, last time like this, down, walk it out, hold in plank, walk it back, okay we're going to add on with a press up, you can drop to your knees if you need to, so you're going to walk down, walk it out, hold in plank, press up, lift, walk it back, so drop into your knees for your press up if you need to. You're going to walk down, you're going to walk it out, hold, press, lift, walk it back, roll up, walk down, walk it out, get your strong foundation, do a press, lift up, walk it back, roll up, come down, walk it out, do your press, Lift, walk it back, and up. Last one of those, down, hold, press, lift, walk it back, roll up. Changing it slightly, rolling down, walk it out. Come to a plank, hips up and back to down dog. Back to plank, walk it in. Roll up, you should be feeling it right through the core. Roll down, walk it out. Nice strong plank, lowering the bum, lifting the hips. Lowering the bum to plank, walk it back. Roll up, roll down, walk it out. Lift the hips, back to plank, walk it in, roll up. <coughs> Roll down, walk it out, hold, lift a down dog, back to plank, walk it in, roll up, very nice is it, last time, so this is the last walk out, hold plank, lift a down dog, back to plank, walk it in, we're going to do a half one now, you're going to come down, you're going to walk it out. Okay, from here, you're going to lift a down dog, back to plank, do a press up, lift, down dog, plank, press up, lift, down dog, plank, press up, 
lift, down dog, plank, press up, lift, last time, down dog, plank, press up and lift, toes together, knees apart, sit your bottom back, reach your arms out, lift up onto your fingertips for just a second, okay, easing out those shoulders, then dropping the hands down, bringing yourself over and onto your back for our final section, which is abs. Okay, so three <coughs> exercises here. Option, head down, shoulders down on the mat, and you're just gonna hug one knee in. Take the other leg straight, really pointing those toes, and I want these legs on a slight turnout. So as if you were in first position. So if your feet were both out, you'd have your heels together, and your toes out and you'd point your toes. So you're going to be on this slight angle as you do your knees. So you're going to switch from side to side. Another option, head and shoulders off the floor as you do your twist. We're going to do 20 of those. Off you go. 20, with this slight turnout, 90, 80, 70, 16, 15, 14, 13, keeping that lower back, pressing down into the mat, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. From there, you're going to lift up onto your elbows, forearms down on the floor, walk the elbows down so they're underneath the shoulders, lift these feet, draw the heels together again, you're going to bring your feet in towards your tummy, so your knees come apart, and then you're going to kick out so the legs are together and you're in a first position. We're going to really rocket the effort across this lower abs. So you're going to come in, kick out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Ending in that first position, inner thighs zipped up. For seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Finishing our workout. Either on your elbows, head and shoulders off the floor, head and shoulders down, and then you're going to flutter kick. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep going. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Bring yourself down onto your back and hug your knees. So if you want to just repeat that ab section for a tiny bit extra, you're welcome. <coughs> but our half hour is pretty much up. So if you want to do it, it's 20 knee grabs, 15 first position kick outs, and 40 flutters. Otherwise, hugging your knees into your chest, taking a little rock side to side. And then coming to a position in the middle on your back. And then just letting those knees come into the tummy and then go away. So drawing circles, using the pressure of your hands. And then change the direction of those circles. Good, and then take your left foot down to the floor, place it on the floor, lifting your right leg up towards the sky, holding my hand the hamstring, drawing it in, and then you're going to do your good toes, naughty toes, flexing and pointing. I really hate the rain, we've had so much of it, it really ruins my river swimming as well, because you can't swim because it's all manky and fast running and brown. <coughs> okay. Leave that foot flexed, take it down over that opposite knee, lift the bottom leg from the floor, hold around the hamstring, draw it in towards you. Stretching those glutes. And then lowering that foot to the ground, taking the right foot, placing it on the ground, lifting the left leg up towards the sky, and then good toes, naughty toes, those feet. Uh, 
and then leave the foot flexed. Take it down over the opposite knee, pushing that top knee away, lifting the bottom knee, holding around the hamstrings. And then releasing. Taking your hands behind your knees, doing a few rocks forward and back if that feels good, otherwise just making your way up to your seated position. Taking your legs out long, lifting those toes up towards the sky, if you need to keep a slight bend and lifting your knees, that's fine. Nice strong posture, inhale the arms overhead. Lift up and out of those hips and then lower your chest towards your thighs and let your head and hands come where they fall. And then sliding your hands back up your legs, crossing the legs, drawing yourself over onto all fours. Dropping your tummy, looking down, uh, sorry, up. And then arching your back, pressing away, really do this lovely curve away from the mat. Bring a nice one for the shoulders, my shoulders are already sore. We haven't even barely finished the workout and I'm just aching already. To a neutral spine, tucking the toes, taking your hips up and back to down dog, and then taking your hands towards your feet or your feet up towards your hands. Coming back to that forward fold from the warm up, letting it all go, give everything a good shake out, and then just slowly rolling up. When you get to the top, you're just going to interlace your fingers, push them away in front of you, really tuck the chin. Press the hands as far away as you can and then take them up to the sky doing the same thing and then release and give yourselves a clap. That's it. Your half hour refresh and recharge blast. <laughs>